Hello YouTube, good afternoon. It is November the 13th, 2018, and I'm just doing an update and a check-in with you all. I am in my office, and I'm getting ready to leave, and I just wanted to, um, I guess just, you know, kind of do an update and just kind of keep my thoughts in check and share um, regarding the transformation of mind, soul, body, and spirit. And so anyway, a few um, weeks ago, I did a video up here in the office that I believe that the Lord had in, in, in placed upon my heart to do so. And um, so I came up here today. I hadn't been coming up here um, probably as I ought to have because I actually, I'm, I'm in the process of um, getting my certification as a health coach and I have not opened doors or launched anything because me, myself, personally, want I want to go to that program. And also, um, this office space is pretty much um, for some other ventures and um, business ideas that I'm working on. And so, anyway, I wanted to share, hold on, let you see, the big city of Roxboro, if you can see the view from my window. Can you see? Anyway, um, so, but um, I had a, a message that came in to me this morning from a friend that was giving me um, words of, in, in, uh, of confirmation and words of um, encouragement that were just so timely. It comes from an individual that I've known since I was five years old. And so anyway, it's just funny how when you're connected, people can pick you up in the spirit, even though they may not know um, what's going on, you know, that you may not have spoken with them. But anyway, the word was to do what was placed in my heart and not to, that I keep waiting for other people. And so, um, and I'm just sitting here thinking because most of my life, I've always been task oriented. I've been a helper. Um, I love people to help people with visions and things of that nature. But when it comes to my personal vision, I'm not really sure because that vision has maybe lied dormant or been laying dormant. Um, and then another thing, I just really don't know how to, I guess, bring what's in me out. I have a, a great honor and respect for other people their visions and I can see it and I love to see people accomplish things and their visions and things come to pass. And so there are some things that um, like even in this office that I felt inspired in my heart and how it happened, how it came open. And I was like, okay, he was like, you know, launch out, step out. And so I'm believing that it is for my health coaching business, but some other things that I put in my heart as far as, um, visions as far as um another business that i had was i am discovering you and also something he gave me topical conversations but nevertheless um i guess i kind of been laying in the balance not you know really knowing what to do but anyway i got this office space and I come up here every day and I said, Lord, you know, what I thought I was going to be doing, I'm not doing. So what am I going to do with this space is, you know, and so I know that he told me to do it. And so I'm going to come up here each day in the day that I can. And I'm going to sit and I'm going to work on what I know to work on, where it's relating to me being in school, maybe some things that he given me in ministry and just organizing some things. And I'm going to sit and I'm going to wait and prayerfully, you know, it's going to come together because sometimes I sit up here and I'm like, what am I doing? I can do this stuff at home. But um, I think that's part of the transformation is, um, you know, really trusting God with what he speaks in my heart and what he speaks in my spirit on doing things, even if you don't have A, B, C, D, E, F and what it is that you need to do. And it's like a step of faith. And so I was listening to something yesterday that really encouraged me. Um, it was a video of Wentley Phipps. And um, I, I probably shared the link below, but 
he was just talking about those like several um, to sharing his testimony of several incidents where it was the power of conversion of God putting him in the right place at the right time and that he wasn't thinking so far out and that he was just taking the steps. And um, also how I got that link was I was watching something about um, uh, Oprah Winfrey sharing her testimony and how they were connected, how Whitley Phibbs had prophesied over her before she was this big reporter about what it was that she was going to be doing. And it actually came to pass. And he also shared different things that when, when it was something for him to do, how, um, doors started opening when he didn't even understand what he was going to do. And so, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And I know that sounds stupid. I just know that I was supposed to get this office and he told me to get it and I got printers and things like that. And um, I got a few ideas um, that of what I'm supposed to be doing. But like I said, sometimes that's related to other people and that's not really happening right now so but anyway i got the word to just do what god told me that was in my heart and it just confirmed just to start moving out day by day so i'm gonna come up in this office like i'm the ceo of something major i heard td jake say something in a interview that he was having with oprah winfrey about how he never wanted to be bigger he wanted to be better and he never struck, he, would, he wouldn't strive, and he didn't strive to be successful. He, his aim was to be effective. And so I'm going to journal as part of, you know, part of my transformation, mind, soul, body, and spirit, and developing my own personal vision for myself. And I have so many dreams and aspirations, you know, and can, and, and, and have insight and God would give me revelation about other people and prophetic insight about it. But then when it came to myself, I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then when I find that I do do is to keep from trying to figure things out um, or work things out, I find something else to do to help somebody else do what they need to do and to have, to have their vision come to pass. But when it comes to really dealing with myself, you know, emotionally and really, and I realize I really don't know myself. I know all the things that I have to do, all the things that I needed to do that were related to task, but just emotionally um, making, you know, being proactive, I really don't know. I just know how to get things done, certain things done. And so part of that transformation, I'm in school, you know, I'm in school for a health coach and that was something that I felt inspired to do. Um, I was helping um, another lady, you know, do some administrative things. But what God has given me, I know it has a lot to do with media. Um, and I know that he does use the foolish things to confound the wise. And it would definitely have to be from the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Why he's chosen me to do certain things, I don't know. Um, as of 2016, he had told me, that he wanted me to do videos, topical conversations. And we had a blog talk that we called Kingdom Relevance when we were doing the business I Am Discovering You back in like 2010 through 2012. And so I was thinking that it was related to I Am Discovering You. And so um, I don't know how I'm gonna do those topical you know, conversations. He told me to do videos, I'm putting them on YouTube. Um, I don't have really any view, view, viewers or subscribers. I have 50, but I thank God for those 50 because I'm not really sure that that platform is ready to be, you know, open yet. Um, but this is a transformation of people, you know, of me personally moving one day at a time, one step at a time towards, you know, moving out in faith, faith in action because I don't have it all together. I don't have this big enormous plan. I really don't even know how. You know, um, and I guess that's the miracle working power of God because this is his story. And I was writing, um, writing some things down. And I was like, God, I thought this was for I am discovering you. And he was like, it is for I am, but he's I am. And so I'm going to prophetically speak to myself and I'm going to come in here every day and I'm going to do what I need to do day, day by day until he gives me the next step. But anyway... 
All I can say is just wait and see. I'll come back and do a video at another time as the as it I guess progresses and as things unfold. The mystery of the life of Mac. Stay tuned. All right, hit the like or subscribe button. Again, if you got any questions, you know, put them down. I would love to um to converse or to have dialogue, okay?